Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to give my beta impressions of Counterside. I absolutely love the game. I didn't get to play it too much. Unfortunately, I went away for the Easter weekend, had no reception, so I couldn't really play it too much, but I've played it a bit since I got back, and I just wanted to give you my impressions and why I think it's actually a really nice game, and I'm pumped for global launch. I'll probably go ahead and play the JP version or something like that, um, or the CN version until it launches on global, just so I can get my head around the metas and stuff like that a bit better. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so first off, I absolutely fell in love, especially when you can see in, in the back there, my boy Titan managed to pull Titan. So if we go over here and we go management, um, I, I was pumped when I summoned this dude because I just like the fact that this game is so versatile in its units. You've got your waifus, you've got soldiers, you've got drones, you've got massive mech warriors. It's just a really good a mix of characters and designs and it all just seems to blend well into the world like you've got like these like some futuristic type things along with like sort of just normal soldiers you got like this chick with a scythe this chick with the chainsaw but they all sort of fit in i don't know how so many different things fit into one um one game and just feel like they belong but they do to me but hey i'm just one guy so don't have to believe me but i just think in character designs, this game gets a definite A+. Plus. Like, check this chick out. This is just wicked. There's some insane designs, and then you just get... Um, there's a lot of cool interactions as well. So, definitely A+, plus on the design. Um, the, the Okay, so the, the general interface looks gorgeous, except it took me a while to get my head around it. So, I didn't even realize you've got home, you've got manage, you've got community, you've got these different tabs you can work through. So, when I do a beginner's guide for the game, I'm definitely going to cover all of this stuff um, because, like I said, it's it's very confusing to navigate when you first get into it. You can go through this tab here um, and look at it all through that. But once you get used to it, it's actually quite clean. It just took me a little while to get used to it. Um, but like I said, that's just that might just be me being slow. The next thing I love is how much in-depth the units actually get. So, um, and one thing I just got to throw in there because I probably won't get into it because I'm too low a level. Um, but real time arena, I love real time arena. Now, arena in gotcha games, you've just got to take it with a grain of salt and understand that someone is always going to spend more than you and pass you. Yes, you can spend less than someone else and beat them with skill and RNG and stuff like that. But uh, like, I love PvP even in gotchas, but I don't take it overly seriously. I just like to compete with the level I'm at, and that's what I do. People, I think the problem with gotcha PvP is too many people just get obsessed with becoming rank one, and uh, and the fact is for 99.99999% of players, you ain't going to be rank one, so just enjoy it for what it is. But real-time PvP, I always enjoy in a game, um, they've also got normal PvP. But the characters, this is the other thing that I wanted to look at. When we go to management here, we'll go ahead and check out um, some characters, and just the, the, the different sort of interactions in combat is nice i'll talk about what i don't like about combat soon um and i started figuring out gear as well so I'm, I'm getting my head all around everything upgrading and all that sort of stuff um but when we look over here so this is what i like there's the interactions you got striker ranger sniper defender they're like the the four that have counters to each other then you have supporter they're normally debuffers or healers You've got Siege. Now, this unit charges straight that the enemy boss attacks nearby enemies if no boss is present. So, I like how you have the Siege and Tower. Now, this is something I didn't quite get at the start because I was like, it, it always showed you like this, um, you know, the, the, the elemental advantage tree, let's call it, between the four um, different types of units. But then you had supporters, which made sense. But then you had this symbol and this symbol, and I finally found it out. And Siege is awesome. So, it's like you go straight for the boss, ignore the enemies, just attack them on the way through. And then you got towers a stationary unit used for base protection purposes these are like these are like units that won't get moved you've got to like actually get through them it's really cool now you have counter soldier mech and others um this is basically waifus soldiers are soldiers and mechs are mechs pretty standard stuff there but then we also have the attack type and tag so we've got um ground attacks so the the units with this symbol can only attack ground units 
air attacks. These, these units can only attack units in the air. And then we've got all, they can attack everyone. So it's really cool that you can have synergies. Like they could have a really good unit, um, but it can only attack ground units. You just deploy a few air units and you just shred through. So it, it brings team balance into it. Um, obviously we have these, these type of things circle around certain area, moves across the field and leaves, um, can be placed anywhere on the field and then has countering skills. So you got, there's a lot of different interactions in combat, which I really started to enjoy once I got a little bit further even though I'm not too far into the game. But like I said, I'm definitely pumped to play um, one of the foreign versions of the game to get into it more. Uh, on to summons. Now, summons seem very generous. Uh, with I think it's like a 2.5% rate, but you do need dupes to upgrade. However, the thing that I do like is that if you don't get dupes, there are alternate materials to do upgrades. Now, um, how, how much you're going to end up getting free to play through the long run, I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll go over here to the lab and take a look at upgrades. But uh, it's something that I've always liked. One of my first mobile games was Summoner's War, and I always liked the fact that they had these little Devilmon, which to get skill ups in your characters, you needed dupes. And in that game, you could also get like a, an item per se that would increase, you know, that would be able to do the same thing as a dupe did. So that's what I like about this. Um, when we go up here to limit break and we select a target, um, as you can see her, I actually pulled a dupe of a couple dupes of her. So I got her. So to go from three to four star, I needed one dupe to go to four from four to five. I need two dupes. I only have one left. Um, but if I could go select and then, you know, obviously I need the rest of this stuff. Now, the cool thing is I do have enough resources to do it. I'm just a bit gold stuff. Now, gold becomes a big issue in this game. Um, everyone I've spoken to seems like gold is a big issue. You need it for leveling up. You need it for doing a lot of things. Um, so that is an issue. But I like the fact that to upgrade units, you don't have to have dupes um, and you can use these things. But by the same token, the summon rates are pretty nice, but just keep in mind you do need dupes or this currency. Obviously having dupes is going to be better, but the thing I do like about dupes as well, if we look here, okay, this is something I noticed that I really did enjoy because a lot of games, um, you know, your lower tier units can't get as many stars. So like, for instance, your rare units can't go up to six star. They can go up to like four star, I think. And normally that caps their level. Um, but if we have a look at this, the level cap is 90 for five star. Um, if I go back to this and I change target to someone that I've limit broken, maybe, um, who have I limit broken? Here we go. You, I think you're an SR. So that starts at two. So you can see the second last star takes to 90. So even though you have left less stars, so the max potential for this one is five star. The other one was, um, six star i haven't been able to see a six star but i'm pretty sure the level cap for everyone is the same it's just they have less base stats because of the stars but it's nice that the levels actually increase at the same rate and obviously it makes for you know the more common units to be viable and the other thing that i do love is the hangar i love the fact that we got ship construction and we got different ships that you can get adds a different element to it along with the grid based system in combat is really nice so i just wanted to jump into combat quickly and take a look at something that like it's it's not really an issue it's just something that i noticed ha like as the as the game goes on and you start getting more efficient teams the um the battlefield gets incredibly flooded so what we'll do is we'll jump into a game and uh we'll, we'll show you what i'm talking about okay here we go we're into a battle uh i'll show you once we get into combat but this is another cool thing you know you can get your different units to deploy um you can, it's got the repeat operation button for farming it's got auto battle battle and auto supply so all you have to do is deploy um your ships basically and then it will actually auto path now it's not always optimal uh, some to get like you know three star stages you're probably often gonna have to um, actually go ahead and manual it but you can do this I like this auto feature how it does the whole thing for you um, just basically for when you get to farming more so than the actual progression it just makes it a bit simpler to actually keep progressing um, but the thing about combat that I just wanted to note is it does get incredibly incredibly cluttered it's um I, I actually don't mind it too much but I know it might be a little bit of an issue for some people, so I just wanted to make note of it. It's just like, you start getting a heap of units. Um, and for me, especially when I've got that Titan, the big mech warrior, it just like the screen becomes flooded. But in, in a way, I actually really do like it. It just looks completely hectic. Um, but I think it's one of those things you'll get used to the more you play the game and you understand more of what units are using um, and what they're doing. Because early on, you're just like, I don't know who, what who's doing and all that sort of stuff. But it becomes really, really, um, like I said, cluttered. But you can take it as a good thing or a bad thing. Um, and I, just, I honestly, like I said, 
I know some people have had it as a complaint. I actually kind of like it. It just makes it look like the, it, like the game's hectic and there's stuff going on. So as you can see, like even just over here on my side, you can't really distinguish who's got what, whose bars are where, but once again, just something I wanted to bring note, but I, I really do like the aesthetics. I love, like, I cannot get over it. I think it's just because there's been so many games recently that all use chibi art. Um, and just being able to go ahead and get some full models in combat is is incredibly satisfying for me. So I think we'll just stop it there and we'll jump over and pop a summon because I think we got our last 10 pool. I think there's like another two hours left in the beta and then we'll call it quits. Okay, here we go. We got the free and we've got some currency. So we'll, we'll pop these two 10 pools and see how we go. I just, it, I think it's why everyone plays gotchas though. You just like summoning. It, it's it's just it's just the thing and i really like the summoning animation for this game i really do like it so let's see who we're gonna who's gonna come out of the ship it really doesn't matter at this stage Ooh, that's good that's good what do we get who's our three star oh wait do we get nothing did we get all rares oh we didn't oh okay that's confusing there's two tiers of yellow so it has to go yellow red and then yellow again it must be a different shade of yellow. That sucked. That sucked. Let's do another 10 pull. Let's do another 10 pull. Rip the dream. Okay, let's go. Okay. So we need to go purple. So this must have nothing. Because normally it goes purple and then at the last second it goes yellow. But if it doesn't even go purple, it must mean you get nothing. Yeah, it does. Oh, rip. Okay, we need purple, then yellow. She's really good. I want to upgrade her anyway, but hey, we got two hours left, so <laughs> we ain't going to do too much. All right, let's go this. Pull two times. I thought it would fill it fill the rest out with diamonds, but uh, I guess not. Okay, so as I, as I said, the rates are okay. <laughs> They've turned trash. Okay, we got, we got enough for one more 10 pull. Let's pull it on this banner because that banner was being trash. Let's go. Recruit eight times. Uh, rip, I don't have enough for a 10 pool. That's all right. We'll do an eight times pool. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Please, please be kind to finish off the beta. There you go. So that's a purple. That means we get an SR. And if it goes yellow, I think it's going yellow. Is it going yellow? No, it's staying purple. Rip. So we only got SRs on that. So you didn't get any three stars. The only thing I'd really love them to do is to actually like not just go because every time you summon, it gives you the three stars and then the two stars and then the one stars. I would love to see it actually just do randomized order. So it's like, you know, you 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 get so you get you get the gold flash, so you know you're gonna get a three star. But it's all randomized order. Like you might get a one star, then a two star, then a one star, then a three star. But it keeps you guessing on whether the, like, I, I just like anticipation in summons. And I feel like that would keep you guessing until the the 10th unit you see on whether you actually got another one. So that's what I'd like to see. I, I like a little bit of suspense, but uh, that's just me personally. Anyway, let's see if we've got any more summons in the bag. Do we? No, we don't. Okay, that is going to be it. Um, really awesome game. Can't wait for Global. Like I said, I'll probably go ahead and play the CN version um, a bit more of this game to sort of get my head around it more. And we'll definitely go pretty ham on it when it comes to Global because it's a really cool and fun game. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.